Hey guys, how you doing? It's Matias Saleva and welcome today to my video. Hope you're having a fabulous day. Hope everything's going very well in your network marketing business. And today what I really wanted to emphasize and share upon you guys is some of the mistakes that I did when I first started in the industry of network marketing. And maybe if you're new or maybe you're kind of experienced but you're not really where you want to be, you're going to have to go through some obstacles and you're going to have to un accept, understand that in order to succeed in this industry truthfully, you're going to have to gonna fail a couple times. And what I mean by fail is not like failure, economic failure, you know, financial failure at all. What I mean is you're going to have to go through some obstacles that are going to really challenge you and it's going to, you know, differentiate you from what we call, you know, the men uh, from the boys, the boys from the men. You're, we're going to really, this doing is you as a leader and if you're going to be able to succeed in this industry at the fullest potential. So a couple crucial mistakes that I did when I first began, and this is to help you guys out so you don't make the same mistakes, is one of the first crucial mistakes I did is I was very, very emotionally attached to my prospects. I always thought that this prospect would you know, make me all this money or it, he's going to do all this amazing work because he said he was or he had all this list of people and you know, come to find out that this prospect really didn't have didn't really do anything. He just got on the product and, and never heard back from him. And then a couple months later, he canceled and he just didn't didn't want to do anything. So this one big mistake that a lot of newbies like myself did was emotionally attached to the prospects. Do not get emotionally attached to your prospects. Sort through your people. Figure out who is you know deserves the time, who deserves your time, and you will see the ones that are willing to take action without your help are the ones you want to work with. You want to train them, you want to lead them, and you want to make sure you're supporting those key individuals. Now there may be some people in your organization that might be on the product uh, for you know a year or two and for example my experience with my current company is I've been on the product for a year now but I never did anything. I just was on the product. I never shared it with anyone. I was, I was kind of in a different phase and you know the, the product really helped me out. Um, and I started to really see, you know, see some changes uh, health-wise, and uh, I just wanted to go out and share with people. So I decided to start building a business out of it. So that's crucial mistake number one that I believe a lot of newbies do, and which is totally fine because, you know, we come from, we all have everything is based on emotional feelings. You know, I last yesterday night I was listening to Jeffrey Combs, and he was talking about 85% of the sales out there are created by emotional status. 15% are created by logic. Meaning, everyone else, 85% of the people out there buy because of emotional states. I want those shoes because I want people to think I have money. Or I want this car because I know people will like me more because I have this car. That's emotional buying. Let's talk about logic. Logic meaning... You know, I'm going to buy these pair of shoes because, you know, I've been running on some Nikes and you know, my feet felt better on Adidas and I need to run a marathon and a little more logic. I'm going to buy this car because this car is going to save me gas and, I'm, you know, pay in full and it's only, you know, $5,000, whatever it be. That's more logic than trying to buy something that is to, you know, to, to fulfill your feelings. So, crucial mistake number one, emotionally attached to uh, your prospect. You do not want to do that. Um, eventually you're going to grow with your leaders, you might build relationships, you, you might be friends with your leaders for the next 20 plus years in this industry, you never know. So the beginning stages do not get emotionally attached. Number two, do not fail to create that list of prospects. Uh, you may have been online now for a while or you may have not and you see a lot of these guys saying you know, there's a new technique, a new method of generating leads, the old school ways don't work. And personally, um, there's to me, there's two sides to that. Number one, yes, the internet can help you generate leads and new prospects to talk to every single day. But number two, which is key, and I should have said it the other way around, but number two is your warm market is where you're going to build some immediate cash flow and some immediate sales from because these are people you have a relationship with. These are people that are willing to invest with you because they know who you are. You, you already have relationships. You know, people buy from people they trust. That's one of the biggest things in sales and network marketing. If you're out there recruiting, you're talking to people on the internet, they don't know who you are, whether they came to your website and you might establish a relationship that you are responding. They still may not trust you just yet. But if you build a list of say 100 people in your warm market and you go through the memory jogger that your company provides, you will find people. And that's one of the biggest, second biggest mistakes I see people out there doing is 
they never do it. They just don't uh, do it. And then they go online and they hear me and people are saying, okay, there's a better way to build it. And to me, you have to work both angles. You got to do a little bit of internet marketing and you got to do a little bit of local and, and small group and through your, your warm market because you never know where those people will lead you to. Um, another great uh, topic that uh, Jeffrey Collins picked up yesterday on a call that I was on is you are five to eight people away from building a six to seven figure income in this industry. And what does he mean by that is you may sponsor four or five people and each of those people might drive you to two or three people and that next person that that one distributor took you to might be that one distributor that goes out and builds a huge organization like you're trying to do as well so there you go boom there's a leader build a relationship with them and go out there so don't ever underestimate or prejudge your market in today's world we cannot do that at all because there's so many people out there that are hurting, so many people out there that want something different. And if you're not willing to share this opportunity with those people, someone else will. It's happened to me. I went to an event in my primary company right now. And like I said, I was on the product and I never showed the product for a very long time. And I actually went to the event and I saw four friends of mine. Now they weren't close, close best friends, but there were four people that I've seen frequently. I went to school with and it was a little different to see and uh, you know it was funny to see him and I say to you know this is what you've been doing yes I've been doing and you're like why do you ever contact me right then and there is when I realized how powerful a war market list still is today whether you've seen the information products being on, on sold on the internet about network marketing or some of the systems available that say the old school methods don't work they do work they truly do work and you have to leverage, I believe, that you have to leverage part of your efforts on the internet to generate you know, some prospects, but also do not forget about your market. So number one is emotional attachment to your prospects. Number two is building that list, truly building that list. Because I know a lot of people you are watching this video, you're scared. You're, you're scared to build a list of people because you're scared to approach them and you're scared of them saying no. What, what do you have to lose, right? What do you really have to risk? The worst case scenario in network marketing, if you're in health, nutrition, whatever company is, you have a great product that can change your life and you can go out and make $100,000 a year. That's the worst case scenario. The reason you'll fail is because you quit, bottom line. So number one, uh, emotional attachment to your prospect. Number two, which like I was just mentioning, which is very, very critical, is building your market list. The next approach is... Um, that I feel a lot of people do not want to really emphasize on is personal development and a lot of people are not really to go out there and change the books they're reading and meet different people go to you know meetup.com and go to local events start networking with other people and you don't have to worry about pitching your product you don't have to worry about recruiting but just go out there and learn from other people observe what the people are doing among industries and and you will come across contacts and that's one of my strategies that I stay very consistent with is going to meetup.com, going to mixers and, and communicating and connecting with other individuals out there. Um, and I don't go in there and say, you know, you guys need to join my network marketing business at all. This is the strategy I use. I, I, every Wednesday when I go to these meetings, or every Tuesday, I take in a different book. And this is a book that I've read from that previous Wednesday where I'm reading right now. And I'll take some quotes out of that, some key points, and I'll share that with the group. And what that does, is that attracts people to me now because a lot of these people are business owners right but a lot of them don't spend the time reading literature they don't spend the time working on themselves they've just been in business for 20 years and by default their business has grown or they've made a huge contact but really their mindsets are not truly there some are some are not so i go in there and i just kind of give some more details some value some free content just like we're doing on the web you can still do it offline you just gotta get in front of these people. So, like I said, those are three of the most critical mistakes that I see out there. Number four is do not give up. When you give up, you give up on your dreams, you give up on your family, you give up on yourself. And at the end of the day, if you have your why, you know, what is your biggest why? And your biggest why is to you know, get out of your job, help your family out help some friends out, you've just given up on those three main priorities, you know, and you're willing to go to a job to make someone else rich, but yet many individuals and distributors are not willing to work on themselves to make themselves rich. Right? So 
I believe that's another big mistake out there that a lot of distributors do is you know not willing to go out there and they're willing to give up on their dreams and goals for going back to the comfort of receiving a check every two weeks and just being able to just pay some bills and live mediocrely. To me, that's not life. To me, it is living life at its fullest potential and living a good life. It doesn't have to be huge bank accounts, it doesn't have to be cars, it doesn't have to be the houses, but get living a good life all around, spiritually, emotionally, financially, and health-wise. All around, I want to live a good, good life. Um, and I've been able to do so because of this industry, and I want to share with you guys, you know, exactly some of the steps that I made, my mistakes, so you guys can succeed out there. Because at the end of the day, whether um, you are part of, you know, my industry or I'm a part of my specific company, part of my downline, different company, we're all here to do the same for other people, is to help other people out and help them grow as individuals as well. So whether we're in direct competition with different companies, I don't feel we're in direct competition because we're all doing the good for everyone else. We're, we're, we're providing service to those who want and want to change their lives. And this is the vehicle that can do it for many, many individuals out there. So just want to give you guys you know, four little critical mistakes that I see a lot of network marketers that are new to the industry, which is completely fine because you know, I went through the training phase, and I'm still a student today. I'm not no expert. I'm not some guru, and I'm not a multimillionaire at all in this industry. But I've gone through some of the processes, and I'd like to give back to those that are just now beginning the process and starting to understand. Now, what I want you guys to do is, in the description box, you'll see this says SponsorLikeTheMasters.com. And this is a website and a system that I use to leverage on the Internet to generate 15 to 20 leads per day into my primary network marketing business. Now out of those 15 to 20 leads every day, I'm able to connect with say 10 of those people through the phone. Now out of those 10 of those people, I'm usually able to sponsor one into my primary business, which is very powerful. Because not only do I have the leverage on the internet now worldwide, because my company's in you know, 10 different countries, but also I have my local meetings that I'm establishing the groups that are growing as well. So. I truly uh, believe that if you're looking for more leads, you're looking for a system to leverage on the internet, head over here to sponsorlikethemasters.com. You will be amazed by the amount of information you will receive, the free value, the content, the training, the seven-figure earners that come to the calls and share prospecting, closing, marketing strategies. I mean, this kind of information is not available out there, you guys. So I highly, highly recommend head over to sponsorlikethemasters.com. Thank you very much for watching this video. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.